2, 13, 23, around 9, 10 a.m., I got this, speak not. Proverbs 23, 9, do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. The world waits. The plans of the kings approach slowly. The people prepare to defend. Those that defend will be villainized and chased. Do not react to their threats and name calling. Do not defend. Stay invisible. Be silent. Do not text, email, or speak any words of the events to come that villainize my people. The followers of Jesus Christ, my son, are soon to be villainized. These are my true people. Take heart. Take heart. These are signs that leaving is soon. That which shall not be spoken is near. This is a different event than the one who shall not be spoken about. He who has an ear, let him hear and keep silent. Those without wisdom will make a noisy reaction. All data collection will be targeting those who react and AI will be gathering all sorts of data on these people from that point forward. Later, this will be used to round up these as villains. Have wisdom. Do not speak of these things. My little children do not fear. Those with wisdom will be protected. This event is the beginning of many isolated events that will snowball into change, irreversible change for the world. Do not allow them to use you as a pawn in their game. Be wise. Avoid the game altogether. Read my word and keep your focus on me. I will open your eyes to hidden treasures in my word. Be diligent to me and turn all your cares over to me. Do not falter as you see others take the difficult but broad path that will bring harm. You stay on the disciplined, narrow path that leads to me and is easy and light. Do not be swayed by man. Stand firm. Now is the time to decide to be silent and stand firm, focused on me. As each event unfolds, take mental note and rejoice that you are one step closer to coming here to me. Then I heard a single word and it was spelled in front of my eyes and it was Espy. I looked up some possible meanings of this word. I want you to listen to the possible meanings and allow the Holy Spirit to direct your understanding as to what this may mean, okay? Espy defined to catch sight of something previously unnoticed in the distance to look out an event also is a sports awards ceremony the next one will be july 10th 2024 and in june they figure out who the nominees are it is also a surname of english origin it means aspen wood clearing or leah in my dreams leah means um, the sleeping church with bad vision a notable early Espy families, Samuel in 1838 was a Continental Army militia officer, James from 1785 to 1850 was an American meteorologist. In my circle of people who I communicate with, there is a person who has this name and she prays for me. So back to the rest of the words, okay? Espy. Convincing people who seem to be brothers in Christ will try to persuade some of you. Not everyone who bears the name of my son is truly of my son. A great deception is underway. Those who listen to man will not have the wisdom to understand this. Recall your directions and stay silent. You will see others who are brothers in Christ, but who are asleep to the times and not dancing with the Holy Spirit. They will have persuasive reasons offered to some of you. Silently decline. It is not the time to argue or try to persuade. It is the time to observe who has wisdom and who does not. Those who fall to peer pressure are not wise. Those who believe the lie are not wise. Those who are so offended at the name calling and feel they need to react are not wise. Be wise. Be silent. Do not react. Pray now for discernment and wisdom. Pray now to have the self-control to be silent. Pray now to be kept in my perfect peace through obedience. Be kind to one another and tenderhearted, forgiving one another. Recall it is not your place to judge others, but your place to use wisdom and discernment. 
to walk your faith out how I lead you to walk. Recall my nature. I cannot go against my laws. There are no laws that bend for the time in which you live. If in doubt, always verify with my character and and with my written word, does it align? If it wavers from my word, it is a deception. Avoid deception by keeping my word. Know my words by knowing my character, my word, and my laws. I do not waver. Recall my son's directives. You will not fail if you follow his word. Stand firm. I will bless the righteous and holy who seek my ways. Your choices will be seen and noted. Benefits or consequences will follow as the other events unfold. Recall to have faith is shown in obedience. By faith, Abraham moved his whole family to a new area, the promised land. By faith, Noah built an ark and was spared judgment. By faith, you obey these words. And like the patriarchs, you too will be blessed for taking action in the faith without seeing the end. Your faith is in me. No, I will protect and provide the sanctified that obey. That is my character. The moments are few before the first test comes. Stand firm. How, you ask? In me. Pray and ask, and I will provide and show you how. Be firmly rooted in me and listen to the Holy Spirit. Reinforce your strength with worship and reading my words. You will soon see wonders if you follow these words. Now I have some other verses. Isaiah eight twenty, To the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Daniel six twenty seven. He delivers and rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? James four eleven. Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. Amos five thirteen to fourteen. Therefore. The prudent keep silent at that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. So the Lord God of hosts will be with you as you have spoken. Okay, so that's it, and I'll see you next time.